who have entered our essay contest and are our three first, second, and third place winners. Um, the essay to topic this year was euphemisms are used by many governments and media to mold public opinions. We asked them to research euphemisms and have them come to conclusions that they would draw about euphemisms and they did a wonderful job. Uh, we are so pleased that their teacher, Miss Catherine Woods, had them enter the contest. Our number the third place winner is Lilia Kilmartin. She will re be receiving $200 as well as a certificate. And we'd like Lilia to introduce her family. There's my mom, Raquel Kilmartin. And as you all know, the families are the ones behind all these wonderful students who support them so uh, well every year. Uh, the second place winner is Tomik De Brito. Tomik. Tomik receives three hundred dollars, and we would like Tomik to this Jody. Uh, introduce his family. Uh, hi, uh, Sister Kasaya is over there. Brother Leandre. Brother Leandre is over there, and my mom's right there. And our contest winner is Sarah. Lucia Conga Livingstone, and she likes to be called Lucia, and uh, she will receive $400 and a certificate also, and I would like to also state that their essays will be on the JCL website, and so we'll put it in the newsletter so that when that occurs, so that anyone who would like to see their wonderful essays can read them. Susan are here. Um, and I just want to add thank you to everyone for putting this whole thing together. It's really wonderful that you'll get high school students as well as middle students, middle, um, middle school students to um, write about this culture and this amazing history. And just thank you so much, everyone. We need to really thank these young students who have taken the ball and kept it rolling by um, writing such wonderful essays uh, in regard to the Japanese incarceration during World War II. And with them, we realize that hopefully this will never be forgotten and that we will keep it to the forefront so that it will never happen to any um, individual group again. So again, we thank you and we thank them. Let's give them another great big round of applause. Thank you very much.